Hey, good morning, everybody. I know it's still pretty dark out, but I had to get up here pretty early this morning. Today we are hunting. It is October the 27th, I believe. So it's getting to be about that time. It's been really hot um, over the past week or so. We had a big rain on Monday and Tuesday. Today's Thursday. So and we had a cold snap yesterday and today. So it's like 30, 35 right now, which is primo weather. So I'll show you guys our stand more when it gets light. But let's have a big pinch point today. Got a lot, a lot of bedding to it, right? Um, I've had luck here in the past. Just there's been a lot of does that came through. And I'm thinking right now a does or bucks will be after does. So. This morning, actually, when we left the neighborhood, we saw a, uh, a buck making a scrape, a big buck. So, they're definitely out right now. So, should be a good morning. It's super pretty out. So, got about five minutes still shooting light here. Should be good. Let's see. Alright, guys. I'm going to show you my, uh, my setup here. So, sitting in this old climbing stand. Any of you uh, OGs will recognize this stand from my uh, Adelaide Adel days. But, anyways... So I'm here, got my bow over here. And then we got this road right here. And there's just a really, really big bending area right there. That's just all honeysuckle. Way down there, and it goes up way up there too. So this road runs the edge of it, and that road goes up there and back that way. So that road's a good passing point because they come out of the bedding. Then there's a little clearing right here. around here and I've lain there too and then I'm, that's also bedding and food is that way so it's just a really big passing through area so laying right there and lanes over here then I also have a, a pond behind me with there's lanes on the other side too so really big pitch point just stereotypical creek bottom setup type deal I also forgot my, or dropped my camera mount in the woods last time I was hunting, and forgot to pick it up, so I just got you guys on the GoPro today, no big camera, sorry, but we should be alright, so it's a beautiful morning, so we'll see what comes of it.
Yep, yep, yep.
I've seen an owl never kill the deer until the day never go to the yard of this stand. I ride on an animal like I chucked over 27th. Are you kidding me? Okay, he's definitely not the biggest deer in the woods. He's probably a two and a half year old, three and a half year old. I don't care though. You don't see all that many bucks on this property. And he's a fine deer. He has some mass to him. He definitely has some mass and a lot of points. He gave me a shot like that. How can you not pass up a shot like that? That was so freaking dope, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta calm down a little bit. I'm gonna text my dad. I'll oh, collect myself. Give him just a second here in case I will get down and take a look at him. Alright guys, I'm gonna take a look at the uh, shot here. <clears throat> and then we'll take a look at the deer. I can see him laying here, that's so cool. There's the shot, look at that. It's not as bloody as I thought it was gonna be, but yeah. That's bright red blood though. So this is where I shot him. Came this way. There's just blood pouring out right here. Here he is. Oh, yeah, he's done. Oh, man. Oh, here he is, guys. No, but not as big as I thought he was going to be. But it's a really cool deer. Thank you, buddy. He has some mass on him. Not a ton of not a ton of width or anything, but regardless, it's a cool buck. Oh. Well guys, here we go. We're about I don't know. <laughs> 15 yards from the stand and he's got camp piled up here. He's definitely not as big as I thought he was gonna be. Um they look so much bigger when they're on the hook, but it's a really cool one. He has a nice big body on him. He'll uh, he'll feed our family well. Thank you for your thank you, buddy. But yeah, this was a super cool hunt. So like I said, I rattled, and I think this might have been the same deer, and I missed him. Well, I get 30, 35, just shot right under him, and then um, and then I grunted to, like to you know try and I don't know try and act like it was a buck or something. And either it was either this deer or a different deer came back. Um, or either one I missed came back or a different deer came back, but he came charging through and gave me just a shot at 15 yards. But I mean, like, I, I can't really pass up a shot like that at 15 yards. So, God, it feels really good. Just, I haven't, I haven't really seen many, much deer since, uh, since opening day, since I had that video. So, and seen like almost no bucks. So this was really cool. I had this guy come in. You know, I, I, I could have waited for a bigger buck, but I was happy with this one. We'll feed our family well. We need some meat in the freezer. Um, he's really pretty, too, really pretty rack on him. Got a nice chocolate rack. So this is really cool. Thank you, God, for uh, providing us with this. Jeez, he'll serve our family well. So now this is like the first time I've really, you know, killed and done all the deer stuff by myself. So I got to figure out how to get this thing out of here by myself. So that should be an interesting one. So yeah, I'm gonna take a couple pictures real quick and then we'll uh, we'll get this guy moving. Cause I do actually gotta be at school show today. So I gotta get that moving. All right guys, so just got some pictures taken care of, took my stuff back to the truck. Now we're gonna take care, field dress our deer here. So we're gonna field dress him here and then I'll try to figure out how to drag this guy up by myself. Cause there's like a very, very large hill. I think I can drive down it. I don't know if my truck can get back up it. So I'll figure that out in a second. So <laughs> we'll see, but I'll be able to dress him here. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. All right, everybody, we are back at the house. As you can tell, I'm in the garage right now. I actually just finished up processing the deer. So we got it on cooler on ice now, but I went back to edit the footage and realized I just, I was kind of so focused on getting that deer out of there and getting to school. I kind of forgot to film any kind of, kind of outro. So after 
I think the last place he saw me was that I was going to field dress the deer. So I field dressed the deer, brought the truck down, and then dragged it out. Turns out those things are pretty heavy by yourself. Like I said, I've always, you know, I find them by myself, and my dad's always been, you know, somewhere around, or he was at work. So I had to drag him out by myself, get him up by myself. So that was pretty exciting, I got to say. But we got him up. We just finished all, all the processing. So I just want to give you guys a little outro, but I appreciate you all watching. That was a really, really fun video. Um, Honestly, one of the coolest experiences I've had just to rattle that buck in and to have him just a perfect shot like that and to see him die right there, that was, that was pretty cool. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the view. We're actually heading out another adventure now. Got some plans, but going deer hunting. It's youth weekend here in Missouri, so always a big weekend for our family. So, hopefully, that's ne next time I see you guys, but appreciate the view. Catch you all later.